Libra, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Libra. Libra, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday, happy Earth Day, Libra babies. My Librians, what's up? It's y'all season. How y'all feeling? Is this y'all energy? I don't have time. Or what did I say? I don't have the energy to pretend to like you today. Is that how y'all feeling, Libra? Okay, y'all don't feel like it today. I understand. But it's y'all season. You feel me? So before we get into all of that good juju and see what y'all got going on, okay? Make sure I get y'all money cards too. I forgot the money cards. Can't forget about the money cards, Libra. Okay? Let's pray, okay? Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the Librians and myself. Thank you for allowing us into this spiritual realm of the white light. Thank you for divinely protecting us from anything that is evil, uprooted from the pits of hell. May we return right back to hell. Father God, thank you for the peace that you have granted upon our life. Thank you for the calling in our life, Father God. Thank you for the abundance of health and wealth as well, Father God. Thank you for our families. Thank you for the traveling grace and mercy as we travel, Father God. Thank you for divinely protecting us as well with your beautiful guardian angels, Father God. Thank you for letting the Libra see another year of life. Thank you for persever perseverance, Father God. Thank you for the strength, Father God. Thank you for just always being there and never forsaking us, Father God. Thank you for love, joy, happiness, abundance. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the birthday season, Father God. Thank you for the uplifting messages and precise clarifying messages, Father God. Thank you for removing things that no longer serve us. And thank you for replacing the things that do serve us, Father God. Thank you for protecting us from everything that is just low vibrational negativity overall, Father God. Anybody that is sending up healing, elevation, growth, just positivity overall, Father God, we return that return that back to sender sender sinner <laughs> forgive the sinners god return the high vibrations back to sender father god thank you thank you thank you ashe amen namaste all right libra before we get into all of that i was told to give y'all four numbers okay so the four numbers have to do with y'all birthday so we're gonna start with the beginning of Libra season and the end. So the beginning, which is today, is 923. So let's read number nine. And we're going to read 23, okay? Number nine, the energy of the divine is awakening within you. Let your soul do the leading, okay? That's number nine. Number 23 is... You are being guided by ascended masters at this time. Trust that the path you are on is perfect for your current situation, okay? So, 9 and 23. You could be seeing 9. You could be seeing 23 as well, okay? On a clock, on a... Just anywhere. Addresses, license plate numbers, on your phone, seconds, minutes. I don't know. Whatever. Okay? And then we're going to do the end of Libra, which is the number 10 and 22, Okay? The number 10 is you are uniting, uniting your energy with that of God. Trust that the signs you are seeing are direct communication with the divine. Exactly. So you could be seeing number 10, number 22, number 23, number 9. Okay. And the number 22 is you are at a crucial point on your journey, which will help you understand the, the relationships and spiritual assignments that will help support your growth. Okay. Okay. 9, 10, 22, 20. It's a big old moth in here, y'all. Where did it go? Distractions. <laughs> oh, well, somebody being nosy. And the light just went out, Libra. Be cautious, okay? Maybe you need to pay your bills. I don't know. The 
The devil is trying to be busy. Where did that moth go? Oh, I see it. How did he get in here? I don't know. I had to turn this. Wait a minute. Turn this light down. What is going on, Libra? <laughs> Boy, 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 I'm about to just give y'all this message and I gotta go fight this moth, okay? As long as it stay over there, don't come over here playing these games, okay? Why is this light so bright? Hold on, y'all. Alright. Now I look low. What is going on? They don't want me to tell y'all nothing, Libra. They hating. They hating. All this going on in six minutes, okay? Anywho, let's see about this money. I'm just watching that damn moth, okay? Ooh. That moth came flying towards me. So somebody wants to come towards y'all, okay? They want to fly towards you, Libra. Spirit guys, what does the Librians need to know? Light bulb. I think this came out in your regular general tap in but something about new idea okay something that's lucrative something that is going to be a new source of income spirit is saying okay something that's inspirational something that inspires you to do it spirit said do it okay you are very creative libra okay or maybe you about to um you applying for a new job you're going to get it okay what is this ring financial commitment okay and somebody wants to come put a ring on it. I told you somebody want to fly towards y'all. I'm watching that mall. But anyway, some type of partnership, okay? Somebody wants to work together. Somebody wants to have a long, wants to do a long-term investment with you guys, okay? And something about y'all financial commitments. Excuse me. It needs to be more fulfilling. Pendulum, okay? Fluctuating income, okay? Something y'all indecisive about. You need a new strategy. Okay, Spirit said you need to be making a choice. Making choices or something, okay? Especially about this seasonal work or something. Yeah, something, some type of anchor or money block here. Okay? You guys feel stuck financially, okay? Go towards that new idea. It's, it's lucrative. It's some type of, uh, it's going to be like long term. Okay? Let me get, ooh, I'm taking them. I ain't even give a number. Something about an ending coffin, okay? Bad investments. That's the money block right there, okay? That's the financial challenge. Something about going, you guys need to start saving more or putting more into your savings, okay? This new job could be a, a night shift job, and it has to do with traveling. Spirit said do it, okay? Because... I, they say the more if in the nighttime, because people don't like to work in the nighttime, you get paid more. So do it, okay? You guys can have a, a, a money tree or something about a tree or some type of financial growth is happening too. If you take this job, this night shift job too, it's, you're going to see the financial growth, okay? Or whatever this lucrative idea is going to come into fruition. It's abundance, okay? Okay, something is solid as well. It's going to be a solid finance, this long-term investment. Okay, you can work at a bank. You might get a promotion or something. Or something about satisfying work. You want this idea to be satisfying to yourself and to the people. Okay, yeah, overcoming obstacles. So maybe you guys did have like, you know, you had a bad investment and then it had created a block. But you're overcoming that now, okay? Something to do with a financial commitment. Yeah, things were spiraling out of control. Spirit said, go for that new job. Go for that, that job, that night shift job. And go, I'm watching that, uh, <laughs> that moth. I wonder what that means. Let me see. Hold on, let me get my other phone.
Okay, Libra, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let me see. Let me see. The spiritual. They can represent the process of change itself and the need to grow and evolve. Moths are off, are also often associated with dreams and intuition. So something about y'all intuition is on point, baby. Okay? And something about your dreams. Pay attention to y'all dreams as well. Okay? Let's see what kind of energy is around y'all. Somebody in a closet. Somebody is a transgender cross-dresser. They live in a double life. Somebody is discreet, fearful, and somebody is a bottom bitch. Okay? Libra. I just don't want that thing flying towards me, okay? What energy is around Libra? Thank you. Some of y'all could be single, okay? Sexy and free, okay? Somebody name could be Maya. Yes, something about a new beginning. Whether if it's love, work, or life, okay? The moth is is uh, <laughs> proof, living proof. Something about disharmony. Maybe you feel um, disharmony and you just want a new beginning, okay? Or maybe you just disharmony in your single life. Don't worry. God got something for you, baby, okay? Statistic person. Somebody is cold-hearted, aggressive, demeaning, intimidates, narciss narcissistic, hurt others on purpose. Either this is in y'all energy or somebody thinks this about y'all, Libra, okay? You healed from that. Okay, you heal from that person or you heal you healed from that type of energy. Okay. You decline in sex. <laughs> okay. Coveting, unfulfilling, lost interest, STDs, taking meds, no passion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you lost interest, especially if this person have an STD, rather if it's sexual or spiritual. Okay. Let me get six more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Oh, that fell on the flow. Ah, that thing is humongous. Okay. Drug addiction. Somebody has a drug addiction. You can tell they moody. They steal. They paranoid all the time. They broke. They always asking for money, okay? They a liar and something about sexual acts. And you decline their these acts towards this person because you notice that they have a sex addiction or something. Yeah, you being more mature about the situation, okay? And you being mature about this new beginning, okay? This drug person, this person that has an, this moody person, you leaving them single. You left them in the dust, I heard. Yeah, something about uncertain, okay? You was uncertain about feeling disharmony, okay? Something about elder abuse, physical torture and stealing, Verbal maltreatment, neglect. Okay, this is this the a sadistic, sadistic person. Okay, this narcissist here. They feel neglected. Okay. You're unbothered. You healed and you unbothered. You're done. Okay, Libra. I don't feel like pretending to like you. I don't have the energy to pretend like I like you today. That's y'all, okay? Yeah, you humbled this person. Are you just humble, okay? You humbled this person after declining their sex, okay? Yeah, this person is a player, or this person feel like you are, okay? Because you don't want them. <laughs> they have a sex demon. They have some type of problem, okay? The mask is falling off. Let me get one more, Holy Spirit. mask off fucking mask off yeah this person is the is in the deep depression i heard okay somebody crying a lot drugs and alcohol okay moody somebody is you have regrets dealing with this person 
This person know you have regrets. They feel sad and lonely because <laughs> they feel rejected by you, okay? Be careful. Check on your loved ones or I pray this is not y'all. Somebody is having um, suicidal thoughts, okay? Reach out to people. Check on them. You just never know, okay? Even if it's this person. Yeah, this person is a gambler. Gambler. They took a gamble, okay? They greedy. They have poor judgment. They're very irresponsible too, okay? And you're awakened to that. Like the angel number said, y'all starting to be awakened, okay? The ascended masters are tapping y'all like, Libra, stay woke. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Don't you close your eyes. Stay, stay awake. Stay awoke. Okay. Watch it. Let's get y'all some wisdom of the house of the knights. Okay. Oh, I cannot believe this moth. Okay. This moth is all up in my. I'm just going to take it as a good thing. Something to do with intuition and dreams. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, what do you want? Ooh, thank you. Deceit, okay? Deceit. Somebody is deceitful in your energy. Okay? Nephret. Somebody is very deceitful. Somebody could be 38, okay? Somebody could be, uh, something about the number 11, Okay? But deceit is here. And congratulations. Okay. You have you're being successful. Or somebody that's deceitful, they think they're being successful with that energy. <laughs> Spirit see you being obedient. Okay. Something about your obedience. Okay. And look, Libra. They're, that's this is y'all. They go to skill. Okay, something about your an oath. Okay, you took an oath. You vowed under something. Okay, or somebody. So maybe you. It's a a marriage or something. But it was deceit against this oath. Okay. Spirit says you made the right choice. Look at that. You made a decision. The good and the bad. You made a right choice here. Okay. Congratulations. The number 49, 46, 48, 39, okay, 12, 12, okay, 12, and 10. Let me get one more Holy Spirit for Libra. What else Holy Spirit do they need to know? You know your damn self-worth, Libra. Okay? You've been obedient. Look at that. And know your self-worth. Yay, Libra. Okay? Let me get three more. Three more, Holy Spirit. That's too much. These cards are sticking. paid attention to the deceit you paid attention to these people masks falling off okay you took an oath you solid but you see that these people uh -uh. you just focused on yourself yep being honest with yourself and other people okay the number eight fragment some is in pieces that's trying to come together here okay Maybe it's just you, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you did used to be deceitful towards people. But now you have made choices. You took a oh, you took a vow for self-love, self-worth. Okay? Being more obedient with the higher realm here. The the Holy Spirit, the spirit team, and angels, God, okay. Invisible. You you feel you feel invisible, or you feel invisible, or you trying to be invisible. I don't have the energy to pretend to like you today. So you trying to like duck off or 
And something about y'all beauty as well. Excuse me, Libra. I didn't mean to cough all up in y'all face. But the number seven, the number eight again. Okay. So that's what's going on over there. Let's see what's going on down Essential Energy Street. Somebody feel like you stand off. It's like I said, you trying to just be invisible. Like, act like you ain't there, but you there. <laughs> All right, Libra. I'm watching that moth. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I wonder where it came from. It must have flew in the house when I came in the house or something. I don't know. You wear your feelings on your sleeve, Libra. Is this you or this is somebody else? What else, Holy Spirit, does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know, Holy Spirit? Let me get eight more cards. Spirit said you need to buy yourself some flowers. Love on yourself, okay? And hold back your feelings. Or somebody is holding back their feelings from you, Libra. It could be a Sagittarius. Okay? November 22nd, December 21st. Okay? Those birthdays can be insignificant here. Okay? And this person was an energy vamp. Or you guys have an energy vamp around y'all that's sucking y'all dry. Y'all need to pay attention. Okay? Exactly. Y'all need to observe and absorb. Or you've been doing that. Okay, somehow doubting your intuition. No, you on point, baby. Okay, you on point. And Spirit said, unless you read the book, never judge a book by its cover. So this is what your spirit guys is telling this Sagittarius. Okay, <clears throat> somehow self control as well. Somebody is overthinking too. Spirit said, go on a road trip. Or maybe you're going on a road trip for your birthday. Okay? They want to be just like you. So, y'all got a me too around you. Okay? Let me see. Let me get a couple more, Holy Spirit. Let me get three. Okay, out again. Somebody want to be just like y'all, Libra. Everything you wear your, your feelings on your sleeve, they wear their feelings on their sleeve. You go buy yourself flowers, they go buy themselves flowers. You you feel like you doubt your intuition and you speak on it, they doubt their intuition. Like, it's weird. Let me see. Yeah. Self-control. You have self-control. This Sagittarius doesn't. Okay? Or maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Who knows? Go look it up. But it's just some weird energy around y'all. This energy down. Single came out again. And look, behind it. Maybe this person is a fireman. Or you, I don't know. But you're single. Okay? And I'm single. And I'm single. Tonight I'm single. I ain't tripping on nothing. I'm sipping on something. And my homeboy said he got a badge for me tonight. Okay? <laughs> So, self-control, okay? Even though why you being single, like, you holding back your, your essence, your energy, okay? Your energy and your energy. Very good, Libra. Spirit says, stop doubting your intuition, okay? If you got a question, you already know the answer. That means it's not for you. If there's no answer, that's an answer. If you feel weird or whatever the case may be, like, some may right, you're right. It ain't, Okay? Something about a DNA test as well, okay? Maybe you want to get a DNA test or somebody wants you to get a DNA test. I don't know, Libra. Let's see what's going on with the modern tattle. Let me see what I can get for y'all real quick. Real quick. Yeah, something about deceit because that card is it could be an Aries or a um Libra. Wait a minute. My card's being weird. Being weird. 
right. Here we go. Now we're talking. Sagittarius energy, or there's a guardian around y'all, or y'all just loving and pouring into yourself, okay? Going shopping and stuff, living your best life, okay? Making offers to yourself, okay? All I do is think of you day and night. Something about truth. It's a troop. It's a troop of people thinking of y'all. Libra. People that y'all cut off. It could be a cancer, but it's some type of secrets around y'all, okay? Or it's just y'all holding back your feelings, okay? Even though it say you wear your feelings on your sleeve, you holding it back. Okay. And this person that wants to be you has a secret. I don't know. Rejection, four of cups. Okay. Self control, rejecting people left and right here. If it ain't coming with peace, I don't want it. Okay. All right, Libra. I feel it. Seven of swords, deceit behind money. Somebody been lying about money. Okay? Somebody been holding back about money as well. Okay? Somebody been rejecting, lying, saying that they don't have money and they do. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else? Family dynamic, plan and paint. Okay? Look, this is crazy. Spirit said, go give yourself some flowers. I'm about to show y'all this. this facts the truth this is y'all energy here okay Aquarius Libra Gemini but that's y'all look at the colors on here go buy y'all some flowers okay or something about these flowers or somebody want to come bring y'all flowers and want to bring and make y'all very 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 happy because they see happiness with you Libra okay what else Holy Spirit What else? What else? Uh -huh. Pisces energy. Being intuitive. Okay. Knowing what moves to make. Being secretive. Knowing when to say something and knowing when not to say something. Okay. Knowing when to tell a little white lie. Knowing when to tell the truth or just knowing that somebody is lying to y'all. Okay. I'm still looking, girl. I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this King of Pentacles. This is y'all, Libra. Y'all getting lucrative, okay? If somebody wants to come and celebrate with y'all, somebody wants to talk and talk about business with y'all as well. Remember, long-term investment. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, okay? Let me see. Let me get a couple more. I don't know. Watch it with with these people because they could be lying about money too. With this three of cups, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be lying. So watch them, okay? Listen, the first five minutes of a conversation, a person tell you stuff, tell you something. Just observe and absorb. Spirit is said. Remember, what else, Holy Spirit? Somebody want to come work on something with y'all or like work, love, or life here. Three, three. It's the number six as well. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe somebody want to come work on something after they was deceitful. Two of Pentacles. They have their in, they need to make a decision because somebody's juggling. Or maybe this is y'all, Libra. Because maybe you know when they, you felt you felt it when they rejected you. And now they trying to come towards you because they see you looking like money, okay? In your bag. Hubby or wifey material here, okay? Now they want to come and come and come and see about me. You know I'm really in a good mood. Okay. Five of Cups, depression, 
Somebody is depressed behind y'all, Libra, because maybe you don't want to work on it with them. They feel rejected by you. They're holding their feelings back. They keeping it a secret, but they see everything with you. They see you also, you using your intuition. They know they screwed over you, Libra. Yes, they do, okay? Maybe they depressed too because about a DNA test. I don't know. Or maybe you, they feel foolish here, Aquarius energy, okay? Risky. It's something risky about this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? I'm feeling Cancer very much so. And Pisces energy, okay? Two of Swords. Yeah, this is y'all energy. Y'all feel indecisive. Like, y'all don't, I don't know if I should take it or... Is this some bullshit? Okay, nine of swords. And are you gonna have me back up in my head overthinking and trap men? I can't eat, I can't sleep, my feelings is hurt. I don't want to feel that. I rather feel this than this. Okay. Three of wands, okay? Somebody sees. Somebody going on a vacation with y'all. Somebody making plans. Or somehow seeing, seeing your ships come in. Like lucrative ideas here. Okay. Somebody is waiting to see if you're going to take the bait or not. And you're like, nah. I'm chilling right here waiting for my ships to come in. <laughs> Manifesting my stability my happiness and spirit said that is the truth okay three of swords somebody is heartbroken as well okay somebody could be albino i don't know why that came to me guys okay but let me see let me give y'all this oracle and this spiritual is foot card, Libra. Yeah, y'all just need to be careful. Watch the energy around y'all. Make sure nobody is, is hold your energy back because everybody is not deserving of it, okay? Because it's an energy vamp around y'all, Libra. And somebody is depressed. Y'all got a me too around. Y'all got a copycat, some weird stuff. Observe and absorb, spirit is saying, okay? Let me put these up. Put those up. I can't believe all these damn distractions. Well, welcome to Essential Energy 8408. If you like this reading with all the theatrics, <laughs> like this video, subscribe if you like the vibe, if you knew, okay? And if not, it's cool. I still love you, okay? But meanwhile, Tell a friend of 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 a friend to come over here. Because there's always something going on on Essential Energy Street at her house, 8408. Zip code, Divine Timing. Okay? <laughs> Let me give y'all this instant oracle and a spiritualist book card. I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all see it. Okay, I'm just gonna pick the book. I'm gonna let the oracle. Let's see. All right, let's see. Intuition challenges scales. Intuition challenge scales. Wow. That's y'all, Libra. Okay. Remember, no self doubting your intuition. What does a set of scales mean to you, Libra? How do you connect with this image? How do you connect with your skills? Okay, that's what you need to ask yourself. As far as that, let me see. It's all about transition, okay? You're transitioning at this time. Be open to change, Spirit is saying, okay? And finding your balance. Okay, with uh, practicality and spirituality, okay? It's also, fem you, you're balancing your feminine 
and your masculine energies because we embody both energies as well, okay? And spirit is also saying, look after your health, okay? Now, let me get this spiritual AF card. And I got to get up out of here, Libra. I got to get this. Uh... Oh, it's moving. It's moving around. I got to get this mop out of my room. I can't sleep with that thing up here. Whew. I'm over here having anxiety. I'm in line of sword energy. <laughs> Spirit guides, what do you want the Librians to know? The Libras. Prayer is dope. Spirit said, pray. Okay. Shit you don't have time for. Other people shit, crazy shit, bullshit, stupid shit, fake shit. Shit that has nothing to do with you, Libra. Okay. Once you drop that kind of bullshitty shit, You'll have a whole lot more hours in the day to do awesome shit. Find shit to do that vibes with your soul. Shit that has no negative consequences. Shit that makes you say, oh, hell yes. Maybe even do some shit that benefits the world in some way. Inspirational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lucrative idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something to help you help them or help them help you. Take it how it resonates, okay? You have time for the fuck yeah shit. Okay, Libra? Happy birthday, my babies. Turn up. Be smart. Be wise. But live it to the fullest. You only get this age once, okay? Be very discerning, okay? Use your discernment when you're out. Um, I know y'all know this already, but... Just be careful with y'all y'all drinks. If you leave it, leave, if you put it down, leave it. Because you don't, can't trust nobody. Don't go to the bathroom and stuff by yourself, okay? Take a friend with you because it's a lot of weird stuff going on, okay? I don't care if you a guy. Make sure because it's a lot of weird stuff going on. But besides that, stay dope on purpose. Live your life to the fullest on purpose, okay? Be amazing on purpose, and just be who you are on purpose, okay? I love y'all. Leave it alive. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good juju. Tell a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend that your birthday went up on Essential Energy 8408. And if they want to know about their birthdays and all that stuff or want to get some good gems, come on over here to Essential Energy 8408 because she's dope. I love y'all, all right? Peace.